Okay, so this morning, I'm gonna draw something on the whiteboard. I want you guys to guess for me, okay? I know you're gonna know it right away. I was looking around the building for something like this, I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna draw it on here for you guys, okay? Tell me if you can guess it. All right. I don't want to be I'm not too All right, can you guys tell me what this is? A ladder. Really, a ladder? Do you guys agree? Yeah. Ladder. Ladder. yeah, it's a ladder. Okay, so what do you do with a ladder? Do you lay it flat on the ground? No. Oh. You can lay it up and we can climb on it. Right, you can climb up it and get to somewhere high. Usually like the roof, if you have to fix your roof or if you're hanging something up high in your house, right? That's a ladder. So today, we're actually gonna be talking about Jacob's ladder. And have you guys ever heard of Jacob's Ladder? Anybody? No. Yep. Um, yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you know, Mr. Art has. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay, so Jacob, remember we talked about Abraham having Isaac, and then Isaac had Esau and Jacob, and then Jacob stole the birthright last week. Remember that, friends? Well, Jacob yeah. then went away in a different direction, and he had this big dream, and in it was a ladder. So is that funny? Have you guys dreamed about a ladder before? Anybody? A no. ladder? Oh, I've dreamed about a lot of different things, but never a ladder. All right, so why don't we do this? Let's start out. We're going to sing a song about Jacob's Ladder, and it's a kid's song. It's called We're Climbing Jacob's Ladder. So just copy the motions. If you don't know the, the tune, that's okay. And then, yeah, exactly. Climbing the ladder. Let's see what the ladder does. <laughs> I'm talking about God. All right, so let's, <laughs> all right, I'm going to mute you guys for now so everybody can hear the music because sometimes it does a little weird stuff. And I'm going to share my screen. Okay, here we go. Jacob's Ladder. If it'll work this week. Questions. Can you guys unmute yourselves? I'm going to click on that and let's see if it works. I don't know. All right. So let me ask you a couple questions. Um, who's watching over us all the time? What does it say to behold I'm with you and I'm watching over you? Who is it? Lily? God. God. God, exactly. God is watching over us. So let's talk about Jacob's ladder. And then also we're soldiers of the cross. That means we work for Jesus, right? Because he died for us and we love him and we need to do things for him. Doesn't mean being a real soldier, right? It just means you follow Jesus and you follow what he tells you to do because that's what good soldiers do. All right, so you guys did a good job with those motions. I'm really proud of you. Everybody's awake this morning. Okay, so let me see you guys raise your hands if you dream at night when you sleep. Can you guys show me? Does anybody have good dreams? Does anybody want to t tell me about their dreams? Uh, Clark? 
um, one of my dreams was I went to the land of make-believe, and then after, there was like a hotel, and then we stayed in the hotel. Ooh, so maybe that could actually happen, right? That would be really fun. Land of make-believe is great. That's a good dream. Does anybody else have any other dreams they want to share? Anybody? Sometimes I dream like I'm falling. Have you ever felt like that? And then you wake up and you realize, I'm still in bed, but you, your body feels yeah. right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, you me like that? I, I was, I dreamed like I was up on a big skyscraper and I jumped down. Were you okay in your dream or did you wake up? I wake up. Oh, good. Just in time, right? Just in time. <laughs> okay, so Jacob was actually, let me tell you about Jacob. Remember, he's Isaac's grandson and he is going to create the whole line for Israel. All the Israelites come from him. Okay, so Jacob Slatter got his name from the Bible, Jacob. He had a dream about a ladder that reached all the way up to, where do you think it reached all the way up to? Heaven. Heaven. And guess what he saw on that ladder? He saw angels coming up and down the ladder, going up to heaven and back down and up again. And at the very top of the ladder, who do you think he saw? God. God. He saw God at the top of the ladder. And God spoke to Jacob and God said he was going to bless him. And that means give him good things and take care of him and all his people and that he'd watch over him wherever he went. Can you imagine if God told you that? Wait a second. I think God has told us that, right? He said he'll bless us and he'll watch over us and take care of us. So yeah. Jacob was in a dream and he didn't realize it. And when he woke up, he said, wait, I really believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord is in this place. So you know what he named it? It's a Hebrew name. Does anybody know? It's called Bethel, which means the house of the Lord. Now, friends, where do you have the house of the Lord today? Where you can experience come here and feeling God's presence? In our heart. In our heart, right? It's not just coming to church, although church is really good. And I can't wait to see you in a few weeks. I cannot wait. Um, but you know what? You could... Jesus is in your heart. The Holy Spirit, remember we talked about that? The Holy Spirit is in your heart already, and he's with you, and you can feel his presence. Okay, so that's, God kind of created and showed Jacob this ladder picture. It's kind of like a word picture. So when you see something in your dream, it feels real, right? God was showing Jacob, this is how I allow people to go up to heaven. It's the one way to heaven. We go up to heaven through God's ladder, which is who? Does anybody know how we get to heaven? Who do we get through? Who do we pray to? God. God. About Jesus, right? Jesus said, I am the way. And that's who we pray to because he goes to the Father on our behalf. You guys yeah. are so smart. You know this already, right? So let's yeah. pray to God right now. And if you want to ask Jesus to be your ladder all the way to heaven, you can go ahead and do that. And then I want you to talk to mommy and daddy right after and let them know, okay? All right, let's pray together and let's close our eyes and then we're gonna have our little, another video lesson, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending us a way to get to heaven. We know it's Jesus, but it's so cool to see it in a picture of a ladder. It makes so much sense. And we see angels coming down and protecting us. And we know you're watching from heaven, God, because you're at the top of that ladder. We are sorry for what we do wrong. And we ask you to forgive us and come into our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. If you prayed that, you talk to mommy <clears throat> and daddy. All right. Because that way they know what you prayed and they can follow up with you. Okay, friends, let's do this. I want you to watch this short video. It's a really cool video because hold up your hand one minute and then we'll do the verse after. Okay. How many fingers? Five. 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 <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're going to teach you a little prayer. If you're not sure what to pray sometimes, there's a prayer called the five finger prayer. So you hold up your hand and we're going to go through that on the video. Okay. So if you're not sure, even tonight when you're going to bed and you want to pray, 
you can say, oh, I remember the five finger prayer, okay? All right, let's look at that right now, friends. One, one sec. <laughs> Hold on, guys, you know me, I'm like trying to get all this here. Hold on, it's not like uh, cooperating with me. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. Sorry guys, you know I always do this. Okay, here we go. Can you see it? The five finger prayer? Okay, awesome. Here we go. All right, everybody got their ears on, their listening ears? I do. Okay, awesome. Here we go. Um, what are you doing? Your lips are moving, your eyes are closed, and no one else is around. What's going on with you? Oh, hey there. I was just praying. I had some things I needed God's help with, so I thought this place is as good as any to stop and talk to him. Um, are you feeling all right? There's no one here. And you say you were talking to God? I think you may have lost it. I know it may seem weird, but God wants us to talk to him, and he wants to speak to us as well. This week, I even heard about it, how God spoke to a man named Jacob through a dream. Nah, I think God is too busy, and I don't even know what to say. Let me teach you something that helped me talk to God. Hold out your hand, and I'm going to use it to help you learn to pray. Now look at your thumb. Your thumb is the closest to your heart. So begin with your thumb and pray for those closest to you. Like my family. Now point with your pointer finger. This finger can remind you to pray for those in charge, those that give instructions, like first responders, coaches, police officers, or teachers. Oh, uh, my teacher is having surgery this week. Now your middle finger is the tallest, and that can remind you to pray for those in charge, like government or world leaders. Okay, I can do that. Your fourth finger is the ring finger, and it's the weakest. Just try to hold it up by itself. This finger is a great reminder to pray for those who are sick or in need. Hey, that's really neat. Last, we have the pinky. This finger can remind you to pray for yourself or your needs. See, you have your hand with you wherever you go, and it can help you talk to God. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's also amazing that the God of the universe wants to talk to me and wants me to talk to him. Isn't that great? I love that. We talked about that already, right? How God of the universe wants to hear our prayer. He wants to talk to you. Okay, let's look at our fingers. Let's review real quick. Okay, we started with the thumb, right? And it's the one, both of our thumbs are closest to us. Good, you hold up your thumb, Carter? All right, all right, Mr. Art, I see Lily. The thumb is the closest to us, so pray for those who are closest to you. Now, who are, who are close to you? What does that mean, close to you? My grandchildren. <laughs> grandchildren. Family. Family. Yep. Uh, Lily, what like, about you? Like um, grandparents. Grandparents. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, even your pets are okay to pray for, right? Keep them healthy. Pray for your neighbors, the people who are close. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. Is that a hamster? Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Carmel. Carmel, can you hold him up again? He's super cute. Everyone say hi. Oh, I don't know if he's used to being on camera. Or <laughs> like, like if I call my teacher, I sometimes play with her. And then they're like, oh, is that your hamster? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm trying to pay attention by <laughs> distracting myself with the hamster. That's great. So, all right, let's review. We do closest to it, those closest to us with our thumb. Now the first one, those who are in charge, like, who did they say? Like teachers? Parents. Uh, parents. How about first responders, right? Police officers, um, mm -hmm. nurses. All right, those who are in charge. And then the middle finger, so we have one, two, three. Sorry, I can't do my hand very well. Um, the third one is the tallest. So those in government and those who are world leaders. There's a lot going on right now too. So pray for the government and the president. 
And then four, those, that's our weakest finger, right? So we pray for the sick and those who are needy. Maybe they need food. Um, Yep, can you guys hold up? <laughs> it's hard actually. I'm like holding my pinky down, right? <laughs> All right. So then the fifth one is pray for yourself. All right. So that's the last one pointing back at you. Pray for your own needs and pray for yourself. Do you guys remember those? You think you can remember tonight when you go to pray before bed? I hope so. That's a good one, right? I love that five finger prayer. All right. Let's go over the verse really quick. I want to just say it. It says, when Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it. So he didn't realize because back then uh, they didn't have the Holy Spirit like we have today. Remember Jesus was far in the future and that's when he gave us the Holy Spirit. But when he awoke, he saw that ladder and the dream was very real to him. So let's do this. We're going to pretend we're sleeping. I know you guys like doing... Um, funny faces sometimes, right? So we're gonna pretend, it says, when Jacob awoke from his sleep, so let's do this. Pretend you're Jacob and you're sleeping. He actually put his head on a rock to sleep. Does that sound comfortable? No, no thanks. I don't want, I want a nice soft pillow, right? So when Jacob awoke from his sleep, let's open our eyes. He thought, surely the Lord is in this place. And I wasn't aware of it. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start sleeping. Everybody close their eyes. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it. All right. So friends, if Jesus and the Holy Spirit are in your heart, are you paying attention? Are you aware that he's with you all the time? I am. You guys think about that sometimes? I know sometimes we forget. We're running around, we're playing, we're busy with our, our family and our friends, but we have to remember that the Holy Spirit is with us, okay? You need to listen to the Holy Spirit. Don't be like Jacob. He didn't even realize it, right? He woke up and said, whoa, that was a dream. I think God's really here, right? All right, so don't forget, God is always with you and he is always protecting you just like in that song. Does anybody else have any questions you want to ask? Uh, you have to unmute yourself, boys, I think. Um, no, not really. Not I really? don't think so, I don't. Okay, so are you guys going to be dreaming about ladders tonight? Ladders up to heaven? <laughs> I hope so. Back to our ladder, right? Think about that. Jesus is our ladder up to heaven. Oh, Carmel, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, let's pray and we're going to say bye. And from now on, we're going to be doing these. I'm going to re pre record it and just email it out to you, okay? We have about seven weeks left before we get back to church. So um, if you haven't signed up for BBS yet, please sign up and that's very exciting you can watch the videos at home and do the activities it's really fun this year unfortunately we can't meet together yet it's just not safe with everybody but hopefully next year we'll be back to normal right hopefully yeah <laughs> let's pray we'll pray for that and we'll pray for everybody who's sick so don't forget your five finger prayer all right let's pray we close our eyes we think about jesus and we don't bother our neighbors okay all right let's pray Dear Jesus, thank you for being our ladder to heaven. Thank you that you came down and sacrificed yourself for us. And thank you for the, the uh, dream that Jacob had so we could have a word picture about what it's like to get up to heaven and you're there waiting for us. And you send your angels to protect us. Dear Jesus, help these kids to remember that you're with them and you watch over them all the time and you care for all of us, even more than our own parents do. Jesus, we love you and we thank you. We pray for all the sick people uh, with COVID or any other illness. Help them to heal up quickly, Lord. We love you and thank you for all the kids here today and um, for Mr. Art and Ms. Edie and their family and for everyone who is watching the replay, Lord, we thank you for them too. And just help keep us safe and help keep us well. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
Amen. Don't forget your five finger prayer. Those closest to you, those in charge, government, the sick and the needy, and then yourself. Hi, Ms. Edie. All right, so don't forget. Bye. All right, everyone, we're going to say bye now, friends. All right, bye -bye. So nice to see you. Bye, Clark and Carter. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Mr. Art and Ms. Edie. Oh, and bye, Caramel. Bye. -bye. <laughs> All right, have a good week, friends. Bye.